Hey, it's Jalen, and today we'll be talking about some really great postpartum essentials. As a doula and a childbirth educator and a mom-to-be very soon, seriously, I'll show you my bump in a minute, <laughs> um, it's really important that I prepare women and myself for the postpartum period. Um, our births are something that we really think we put a lot of thought into and a lot of time in our pregnancy is spent preparing for the birth of our babies. And while that's such an important thing to think about and an important day to prepare for, it's generally just one day of our lives. And the postpartum period lasts for a much, much longer time. So it's important that we have the supplies that we need to take care of ourselves so that we can take care of our new little one, right? So there's some products that you should have on hand for the postpartum period. Um, and I'll be talking about a few of my favorites. So regardless of if you're planning to nurse or not, um, birth leads to some lactation. So you're gonna wanna be prepared, especially if you're breastfeeding. And so some really great things just to have on hand are some regular, just disposable nursing pads. For the first few days, I would suggest the disposable. You're gonna be doing a lot of laundry and you're gonna be recovering from birth and you may not want to add to the laundry with reusable pads just yet. Your supply is also regulating, so you may have some engorgement issues um, or some oversupply issues right at the beginning, and disposable just makes it a lot easier. Um, and also, these Soothe's gel pads. You can pop these in the refrigerator or the freezer. They help cool and just relieve sore nipples, and that's a pretty common complaint from new moms. Sticking to the breast issues, postpartum, you're gonna want to find a really good nipple balm or nipple cream that will help heal the cracked nipples. But you're also gonna wanna look for one that is okay for baby also without wiping off because you just don't wanna be, you just don't wanna be touching them a lot in the beginning days when you don't need to. <laughs> and wiping off nipple cream um, can just exacerbate the pain that you may be feeling. I've chosen to use um, the Mother Love Nipple Cream, and this is totally fine for baby. Um, you don't have to wipe it off before you feed. It comes in a tub about like this, and it's kind of like a, looks like a lip balm consistency. I've heard some really great things about this brand from mamas that I work with. So I'm excited to try it for myself in a few weeks. Another really common postpartum symptom that you'll probably have is soreness and bleeding after birth. Um, and depending on the mode of your delivery and how difficult it was, that may, you know, exacerbate that pain. So it's really great to prepare things like padsicles. Padsicles are a fantastic, soothing, option for postpartum and they're really easy to make all you need is one of those giant pads some witch hazel just like the astringent that you'd put on your face and i like to add some aloe vera and you can even put a few drops of like lavender essential oil you just mix that all together slather it on the pad but don't take the backing off keep the backing on fold it back up put it in the freezer and it's a super soothing way um, to soothe your perineum and just the downstairs in general after birth. On that same note, I know that a lot of people preach mesh panties and I think that they're a great option for a lot of people. Another option and the one that I'm personally going to try is adult diapers. It doesn't sound great to talk about, especially on camera in front of however many people watch this video. I've heard some really great things um, about using adult diapers as opposed to the mesh underwear or just giant pad with your underwear situation because it cuts down on laundry. Again, you're gonna be doing a lot of laundry in the first few days, weeks, months, years. You may not wanna add any more to that load than you need to, right? This cuts down because you won't be washing your panties. Um, they're super absorbent. They're really sleek. Um, they don't look like a big old diaper. So I always suggest to mamas that they get the Depends Silhouette, and that's what I'm gonna use. I'm putting a few in my, uh, my birth center bag and I'll have a couple of boxes for at home and I should be good to go. For the first few days or weeks, these are a great option. And let's talk clothes. Clothes, postpartum are something, that's something that I think a lot of people dread talking about because you're not back to your regular size. It's hard 
to find things that are comfortable. You're really kind of just lounging around most of the time in the first couple of days. And in the days that you're not, you're also entertaining people, sort of. They're coming to your house and you don't want to look like a slob. So I've been working with pink blush and I've put together um, a little set of clothes that I'm really excited to use in the postpartum period. For me, it was really important to find some clothes that will probably, that will work postpartum um, that I can, number one, wear during pregnancy, number two, be comfortable in while I'm just sitting around postpartum, right? And three, I can feed in and I can have people in my home and not feel super self-conscious about it. And so those are kind of my stipulations. So I'm working with Pink Blush and they sent me some products that I'm really excited about because I think they fit all the bills. I'll be giving birth in the middle of summer and it's going to be probably very, very hot. So to me, I wanted the least amount of clothing on me as possible. Um, and I'm a big fan of dresses. This is just a basic dress. It's short, it hits above the knees, um, and it's like a really lightweight, super, super silky soft fabric blend. But you can see that the front crisscrosses for easy breastfeeding access. I plan to sleep in this. I plan to probably entertain people. Not entertain because let's be honest, hopefully any visitors are coming to cook or clean for me. <laughs> in those first few weeks, but I'll feel good about being around people in something like that. This is another pink blush dress that I believe is going to be fantastic for postpartum because of the crisscross. It's also a little nicer looking. The fabric is still pretty lightweight. It feels heavier um, than the other. It's kind of double layered, but it's almost like a scuba um, material and so it stays really really cool. I'm going to have a lot of postpartum hormones coming up, coming and going and a baby on me all the time <laughs> and so I want something that's gonna be cool. That black dress also hits above the knees which is a great length. It's just gonna be a really nice easy postpartum garment for me. And then the last thing is a maxi skirt. This one from Pink Blush is just fantastic. As you can see I am really enjoying it in pregnancy but it's gonna be great for postpartum for the same reasons as the dresses it's gonna be airy um, i'm gonna feel pretty comfortable in it postpartum with people coming and going out of my home and it's something that it does not feel constrictive to me i love that all three pieces from pink blush i can wear in pregnancy and postpartum to me that makes the value a lot greater so i hope that this video was a little bit helpful for you i hope that it gave you some ideas of some very basic things that you may need to have on hand for postpartum there's a lot of other things that can come in handy but i think this is a good starter kit thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye